No, a child of God does not fear death. So once you become a child of God, death is no longer something for you to fear because you now belong to your father. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel this morning. I'm Rose Nazom Impact, here bringing to you our daily devotion, Open Heavens, written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. So we are here this morning in your household. Today, by the special grace of God, we are looking at a topic that says, You are above death. You are above death. And the Bible passage will be taken from 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 58. We'll just go straight to the memory verse, which is 1 Corinthians 15, verse 55. And it says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? You know, when you are a child of God, even when walking in the valley of the shadow of death, you will have nothing to fear because the Lord of hosts is with you, according to Psalm 23, verse 4. The Bible says in John 11, 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. That is what Jesus Christ told the sister of Lazarus, and which is the truth. Once you become a child of God, death is no longer something to fear. In fact, it becomes something you look forward to because if Jesus tarries, you should be your passage into heavens where you will be with your master, with your pain or sorrow. That's why Apostle Paul in Philippians 1.21 Say, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Hadn't the Lord say that his fear for death vanished? Vanished completely from observing his father in the Lord. He said that Pa Josiah Akendayomi, who is the founder of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and his friend sending messages to each other back and forth. And they will say, I will die before you. And the other one will also say, I will surely go before you. These two, we are talking about death, like someone talks about going to the market. That is the extent of their spiritual height. When you are truly redeemed and you know that death is only your visa into great bliss and glory, you will be above it. Wow. That is a great one. For someone not to be afraid of death, for someone to believe that dying is gain. I must tell you it's not easy, but that is how it should be. Psalm 
So, my dearly beloved, another in the law said that he banished every fear of death in your life. Every fear of death in your life. Let it be banished today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, I receive it. Oh, I receive it. I receive it for myself. I really need that prayer. Every fear of death, let it be vanished from our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. So from today, let us live above death in the name of Jesus. So already the Lord said that he will want us to note that if you are not born again, if you are still having pending restitutions to make, Jesus is not truly your Lord and Savior. Then, you need to be afraid of death because it will then be a visit for you to spend eternity in the lake of fire. When you die and you're having pending issues, it means you're going to have a date in the lake of fire. But when you die as a true child of God, it is your visa to heaven. So if you are not yet born again, please say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life as my Lord and Savior and ask for the grace never to commit sin again. I ask for the grace to be qualified to be with you in heaven. When I leave this earth, you lord thank you lord thank you jesus in jesus name i have prayed amen congratulations 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 now look for a bible believing church near you to attend regularly praise the lord hallelujah our key point today says once you become a child of God, you don't have any fear of death again. Our hymn is hymn five, blessed assurance. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. So let us sing it throughout the day as we work, as we do our business, as we do our domestic work. In everything that we do today, let us enjoy this hymn. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate all my returning subscribers and those who have come to my channel for the first time today. I sincerely appreciate you too. May the good Lord bless you. But if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, you are above death. And the good Lord will surely bless you.